Dungeons and Dragons. And Junk Drawer. What's up, guys? Hello. We are back. Wow. It's been uh, quite some time for us, but it's only been a week for you. How's that been? I hope it's been good. Wait, wait. Let, let, them, let them respond. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Good uh, idea. Did your Fantastic. Dad be okay? <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, is he? <laughs> um, so last episode, uh, where we left off, we destroyed this giant beast thingy. Uh, it was punching my unseen servant into the ground and multiple other things. Um, <clears throat> like me. Absidy used Eldridge Blast the first time, uh, unbeknownst to Shart because his intelligence is a negative 17. Not true. It's negative 19. <laughs> Not true. Negative 20, whatever. I'll try to whatever. be nice. <laughs> um, uh, Rufio was oh. deceived by Absidy, uh, thinking that he's actually, has his patron is an angel. An actual angel, not a fallen angel. He's not wrong. Whatever. I'm not wrong. Technically is wrong. It's a fallen angel. He's now a demon. But, but it's angel different. is fallen in angel. the name? Sure. So technically I'm correct. The best kind of correct. <laughs> You will do everything to not be so, wrong. So, <laughs> um, yeah, and then we we opened a door. There was a bunch of skulls, and then there was a dude. And uh, I have Michael Keaton neck right now from Batman. Oh yeah, he's so gonna... just be prepared to see some weird rotations because I, I I tweaked my neck because he's Batman. Because I'm Batman. How's that? Are you okay with that? No. Mm. What that you're Batman? Yeah, I mean he's a big Batman fan. It's true. So. Anywho, uh, basically that guy, the last thing he said to us was, do I know you? That's true. And then he ended it, so. So, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll go back into the, back into the description, because it's here in the book. Um, <laughs> so this 15-foot high room contains the trappings of royalty, ornate furniture, exquisite rugs and tapestries, and decorative statu statuary, I think that hit me before. Everywhere you look are lit candelabras atop small tables. The beauty of the decor is undone by thick dust and cobwebs. Standing in the center of the room is a decrepit skeleton clad in tattered robes. Red pinpoints of light burn in the skeleton's eye sockets. Do I know you? It asks. Uh, who, who walked in first? It, it was, was me. It was you? I think it was me. Uh... No, we're lost trying to find our way out. Oh. I don't remember the way out. How long have you been here? And he kind of just looks. I'm not sure. What? What's your name? And you see him and he kind of looks... And the skeleton looks back at you, and I don't remember. Uh, I'm gonna throw up a, uh, shit, where is it? Features and traits. I'm gonna throw up a divine sense. Okay. Evil, undead, uh, anything affected by the hallow spell, celestial fiend, oh, undead. evil and undead, baby. <sighs> Ooh, damn. Um, Spite it! <laughs> <laughs> and I fight him in the face. Um... About how far away am I from him? I would say maybe you're like 15 feet from, but he's sitting like down and he's in a, like this kind of comfy armchair. He's got like a little like nightstand next to him with a book on it and a little like candelabras there. Maybe he was reading before and he's just kind of sitting and he just goes, oh, and he looks back down. Uh, oh, uh, hey, hello, do I know you? No, do you want to get to know me? We can hang out. I have time. Oh, uh, Ruby, can we hang out? Uh, I mean, we're not going anywhere. Sweet. Okay, so, like, what's your name, man? He doesn't remember. I don't remember. Oh. Well, I'm going to call you Andy. Andy. Do I look like an Andy? I'm, yeah, you look like an Andy to me. It's just nothing. It's just skeleton and bone. <laughs> to be fair, I've never met an Andy I didn't like. Oh, hello. Do I know you? I don't think so, but you look like a good guy. Oh, thank you. So, you don't remember anything? No. 
About how far are we from the door? I would say, like, you're not too far away from the door. Maybe, like, five feet. Do I hear all this? You can roll a perception. Okay. Oh, God, no. (laughs) Oh, baby, no. That is a big old no. (laughs) Perception? Yeah. Uh, Twelve. Like, you hear the low registers of, like, Shark's voice, and you hear, like, muffled, like... So I just hear them talking, but I can't hear You don't know who they're talking to. For all you know, you... They're talking to each other. That's for all I know. We, uh, we... We have a friend who might be able to help you get your memory back. Do you... I'm gonna... be most grateful for that. I'm gonna go get him. I'll be right back. Casimir kind of just puts his hand on your shoulder before you leave. What exactly are we looking to do? Have you seen a skeleton that can talk before? No, but I know that this is trouble. And we're going to need everybody in here if we're going to... He's very docile. I don't think we should start anything if we don't need to. Where do we go from here? Is there anything else in the room? Is there like a way? Is there like a further point? Is um, there, or is it he just in this room by himself? It's he's just in this room by himself. Like I said, there's the there's the book. There's like a couple of like different furnishings. There's the nightstand, the candelabras. It's I mean, it's a really rich room, but it looks like no one stepped foot in it for years and years or decades. And he's just been in here. And he doesn't look like he's moved. Like, what? what is the dust? Like, does it look like he, like, paces around? Or no. he's just in this he's chair? Been, he's just been hanging out. Uh, uh, is there anything of interest that I could, that I would want to take? That's an absolute question. But I, I, yeah. So it's, like, just a bunch of money stuff? Or is there anything that seems, like, what, what, what can I, what's around? An investigation. See if there's anything that kind of catches your eye. Uh, to do six, 16. <laughs> um, I mean, there's nothing too crazy, but that book looks pretty cool. The what? The book looks kind of cool. There's a book on the table? There's a book next to him. Oh. Hey, Andy. Yes. Do you know how to read? Yes. Oh. Do you like books? I love books. Oh. Because I see you have that book on the table, and I was kind of curious if maybe I could borrow it. He looks over and he goes, oh. Oh, I, I don't remember this being here. And he kind of picks it up and he starts leafing through it. I'd like to read it. How long do you think it will take you to read? I don't know. Absolutely, let's not make waves. Let's go get Thok. Okay, you get Thok. I really want Thok. No, 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 no. Thok let's. Nice? Thok's great. We just met, and he's very sweet. Do you want to roll a deception on him? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Uh, 17. Uh, he kind of looks and he goes, Okay, I'd like to meet Thok. That sounds great. Let's all go get Thok. Okay, but first, what's the book called? Absidy, not now. Just That's all I want to know. What's the book called? Um, the Incants of Exethanther. Okay, let's get Thok. Let's get Thok. And Casimir's like, I... I... Uh, I'm gonna stay out here in the doorway. No, Casimir, let's let's go get Thok. And so he begrudgingly follows. And uh, as we're in, I guess closer to Thok, we cannot go back in there. Yeah, I'm fine with that. But that that book. No, no, Absidy. Why? He. I. I I did a divine sense. That thing is undead and is evil as it comes. Then maybe we should take that book from him. He's not bothering anyone. He's over in a corner by himself. He's been there for God knows how long. Thought, does the name Incants of Exanther mean anything to you? Where are you guys at? We're we're <laughs> like balcony. we're like over here. We still have to go a ways to get to Thok. And we have to cross that rickety ass thing. So they're again. not to me yet. Not yet. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, can... Do I know anything about this book? Um, not really. I mean, you can make an arcana check. Ugh. Six. <laughs> Sounds like a weird book for nerds. <laughs> okay. Nerd. Yeah, I mean, I personally... 
it doesn't look like being in that room benefits us any. And leave it alone. Those red red eyes freak me out. Not gonna lie. Leave it alone, Absidy. We have more important things to get through in this temple. Maybe if we make it through everything, we can go back and try. But that's a hard maybe. Fine. It's not a maybe. It's a no. We need to leave it alone. We don't know what it is. We don't need to know what it is. I'm with you on that first part, but... I don't know. Some I just want to know. Hey, man. looks at you and he goes, I know what it is. What is it? Okay, when... So, what do you know about bitches? I've heard the name, and I've heard not good things. No, they're not positive things. So a lich has a phylactery, which is basically something it puts its soul into it usually needs a hundred or so corpses or souls to be put into it and in order for a lich to keep going and keep its sanity it needs to keep putting souls into it however if you drain it or you starve it it starts forgetting things it doesn't remember its name and excanthanther is probably its name but it hasn't left this room because it doesn't remember to leave the room so it's a very weak weak lich I'm guessing that book is is its spellbook, and that is a very powerful tool. So now we know what it is. I'm just putting it out. And we don't need it. It's a very powerful spellbook. It's a powerful spellbook for a lich that doesn't remember to leave a room. So? So leave it there. Maybe we need to take it, need it to take down Strahd. Absolutely, we don't need anything else to take down Strahd. Really? Have you faced Strahd? Yeah, I have actually. Before you. And how'd that go? Better than it went for you. It didn't go well, though. Yeah, but we're it's different now. Is it? Yes. I'm you just had, saying, you didn't you have magic before. Yeah, I said that out loud. <laughs> Shark didn't even notice. Yeah. Wait, I, what? <laughs> anyway. And you, that's why we need that book. We don't need the book. You have magic? I have this wand. Let's go. Nineteen. Minus two. So seventeen. Seventeen. And now you get to roll what? Roll insight. See if your, your good buddy Absidy. <clears throat> I don't know the mess. <laughs> I'm just. This is pretty rude. Um, eighteen. <laughs> so it's he's keeping something. Yeah, I mean, I've seen the wand before. I, I knew about that. It sounds like you guys are talking about something different. I'm coming back for the book. Let's go. I'm just saying, you know, there are two levels to here, I'm guessing. There's a downstairs we haven't even gone through. He probably knows. Knows what? How to get around here. I don't know if you remember, but we got blasted to high fucking hell with fire earlier. I'm just... I don't know. So you think it's a good idea to go try and get... I'm just... I'm putting it on the table. I feel like we're not discussing all of our options. I I, I yell real quick, Hey, Thok! Huh? (laughs) How how loud? What do you know about liches? That they're undead and they need to be killed? Yeah, we can't bring him. (laughs) Why do you ask? Uh, just, uh, I'm dumb. I just want to know stuff. Oh, okay. Locke's like, I believe that. <laughs> I'm not smart. <laughs> At advantage. <laughs> okay. So slowly but surely, you move out of this, you know, back onto the balcony one by one to make sure it doesn't give way. And we're all back into the same area with Locke. Where'd you find it? There's a lich. Okay. A lich with important information. It doesn't have important information. Absidy thinks it's important information. Casimir thinks it's important information. I don't give a fuck what Casimir thinks. He knows more than both of us. He knows more, but what has he done against Strahd? So you ran into a lich and you made it out with no issues. He's... A weak lich. Yeah. Deteriorating. Starved. He's starved, so he hasn't had any souls to... No, and I'm not trying to give him any new ones. Um, 
Or what information does he have? He has his spell book. Well. And maybe knowledge of this entire castle. If he can't remember his name, what is he going to know about the castle? Maybe it's in the book. He's not going to let the book go, Absidy. We can kill him. Thought you hate undead. Kill him. I can, I can turn undead, and if he is not wise enough, he'll have to run away from me. Can you? Do we want this book, but not have to face him? Like, can I turn him, make him run away? You grab the book, we get the hell out. Like, if we, if we can make it across the bridge, <laughs> that's my problem. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get across that bridge. Let's just leave it. Leave it. Casimir starts walking. Oh, okay. What? Seems like a change of heart to me, but fine. No, it's just frustration. I don't know. I think that there could be good information there. If you think you guys can do it, I'll back you up. But there was no other way into this room. No. Look, we're not we're not gonna do it without everyone on board. All right. I understand. Let's let's go, Rufio. Where are we going? <laughs> where haven't we been upstairs yet? I think upstairs. No, we've, we've been everywhere now. Been everywhere upstairs because we even went here, right? What was this? That was the where the statue. Uh, the room before the statue. This was the room before the statue. Yeah. yeah, that was the room before the statue, and then the little thing to the right, I believe, is where the lich is. Yeah. Or, well, he said here's where the lich is. That? That's where the statue was? Yeah, that little... And I believe behind that was where the, the lich was. Is that right, Wasn't Dan? there a secret room? So yeah. have we not been here yet? Sorry, you're, you're past that. Because we're, I didn't, are I didn't we here? Know, turn it to your left, because I didn't put the secret room on there when you met the lich. Yeah. Okay, so there is another room right here. Yes. But we're over here now. Correct. Because we were talking to Thok. Right. Yes. So, I mean, the, the thing that you passed was... Oh, thank you. Uh, the thing that you passed, so this... Nice. <laughs> yeah. Is, um, it just looks like it's a, uh, a narrow room. Should I switch to the, the battle cam? I mean, you can if you'd like. I, you're in control of that. Just let me know when we should or shouldn't. Just put it up. Okay. We'll just throw it up so we have a point of reference and everyone else does. Mm, fun. So yeah, that's the uh, that's where the like if this was made this is made for battle, so this is where the like arrow slits would be. Mm -hmm. And where, you know, if someone was coming in here you would shoot arrows at. Casimir, <clears throat> why what's the frustration? Um I feel it's just I feel it's a very hot and cold topic as of right now. Destroy a lich. I just, it has knowledge. I don't know how we restore its knowledge. We don't want to restore its knowledge. Why not? Because then it starts destroying things. Does it? And us. It needs to feed. Uh, I'm, I'm not willing to give my soul up. Maybe you are. No, there are five people outside that we could possibly use as a barter. We get guided through here. We find out whatever secrets this thing holds. You're willing to sacrifice... For a greater good? Possibly. What greater good? Killing Strahd. <sighs> Look, he's weak. Why can't we just take the book? Absidy, if you want to go into battle with a lich, by all means. He's weak. Go find out how weak he is. Back me up here. No. Why? Because you're wrong. You don't understand. Enlighten us. Enlighten you. Please. If anything was to happen, if he gets one soul of our group right now, that's going to, to build him up another level. He's going to remember more. If he remembers to look in that spell book, we are fucked. Who's to say that he's a lich? He's not a good guy. He's not going to just be like, okay, yeah, let me help you go around this place and find all the secrets and then, sure, go on your merry way. So I be grateful. Talk is cheap. 
You said you would be helpful too, and all I've seen you do is cower. Okay, bird boy. Relax. If you guys decide to do this, it's going to be without me. I will not go in, and I will not stand for it. So we move forward then. <clears throat> All right, let's explore this temple blind. Oh, because you know we weren't already doing that. We already didn't have the understanding. Right, and of now doing that we that. have an opportunity to then not go do talk that. to him, Absidy. Then go talk to I him. I tried. Go back. You can get across this bridge better than any of us. Go reason with the lich. The thing that I told you was evil and undead, both. But what the fuck do I know? Then make a decision. What are we doing? I asked you that five minutes ago. I don't want to be in charge of this. I've, yes, you I've, do! I've, I've, I've made my points be known. Then make a decision. No. Because it's against what you want, and it's against what Casimir wants. Because obviously, what Casimir, his, his stake in this makes so much sense. Will, will you it guys matters. both shut the fuck up and decide something? Shut, shut up! You haven't been a part of this at all. I'm gonna cast calm emotions Go in the room. It. Uh, it is cleric. Everybody <laughs> I was like, all oh, this hostility gets the fuck. I just imagine you're just rolling your eyes a lot. And you're like, oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Fucking uh, diaper babies. Charisma saving throw, each humanoid in a 20-foot sphere, centered to me. Mm -hmm. And we're all here. Charisma saving, if the creature fails a saving throw. Oh my god, we all need a hug. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is so great. You can suppress any effect causing the target oh, to be charmed or frightened, but that's like, if you are charmed or frightened. But I'm pretty much just trying to make them calm down. I'll let you it's use a, it for what we want to use. It's a charisma save. Charisma. So yeah. I rolled a, a six for Casimir. And you he rolls it with a negative two, right? Yeah. It's a save. Yep. Seventeen. Oh, I, I do it for saves as well, not just you make I would it. say so. Okay. So I stay angry. Damn it. Yeah, rolled so fifteen. Rufio's the only one that stays angry. <laughs> oh, what was the DC? Fifteen. Oh. So me too. Oh. I rolled a fifteen. Oh. I'm chill. I'm sorry. It's just... It's taken a lot to get here, and I want to just use all the resources that I can. I know it's... risky, but the reward is high. I'm sorry. Look, I... I'm... I'm scared for Irina. I don't know if I'm going to be able to protect her. And I want to use everything that we can to defeat Strahd. But if you think it's a bad idea, then... I believe you. I trust you. And don't tell me to fuck off. Absidy's saying that you need to make a fucking decision. You want to be the fucking leader. You make a decision. That's first, what you've always first of been. All, I've never once decided to be the leader. Second of all, what just happened? I don't know. You told me to fuck off, and I'm not happy no, about not, it. Not, not, not that chart. <clears throat> Do did I notice Thok do anything? Were you trying to be like sneaky, about sneaky it? with your hands? Give me that I try, Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's verbal somatic. <laughs> Say something Egyptian, like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> that's, a, that's a nine. I spoke that's that in hieroglyphs. So, he said, so he, you see Thok, like, when everyone's arguing, you had, like, you heard, like, maybe Thok murmur something and some hand movements, and then, you know, all of a sudden, Casimir and Absidy have been talked off the ledge, so to speak. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Ready to jump. I'm just gonna look. I'm just gonna stare. By the way, it's concentration for a minute. Okay, concentration for a minute. So right after a minute, they're like, and another thing. <laughs> <laughs> so keep moving. Worst case scenario, we come back here if we find nothing else. There's else, or eight us. There's five of us. Majority rules. Okay. I'm indifferent. I'm fine either way. Well, here's my thing. You're gonna want to kill it. You're These right. two think the information's valuable. Jury's out on you. I really don't care. So. So now the next question would we're be: We're all realistically, with the exception of these two, we are all on different planes of what we think we should do. Yeah. There's got to be something else here. There's a there's two. 
There's no downstairs. There's, what, the downstairs here, but there's got to be something deeper. Like a basement? Like, like a basement. Like a where, tomb? Where was Didn't the we see stairs that you found? Yeah, there were those stairs on the other side of the, the castle. We where, decide- those, where those skulls went down? Uh-huh. Maybe something's right. there. I mean, if you're right and he is powerful, maybe there's some information to defeat him. And again, him. if we don't find anything, we can always come back here. It looks like he's, you said it looked like he's been here for a while? Yeah. Is he going to go anywhere anytime soon? It doesn't look like he knows how to walk. It, it doesn't look like he remembers <laughs> to leave the room. Okay, then probably he'll forget who we are by the time that we come back and this whole thing starts from the beginning. If we see him again, my name is Sean. Good to so know. let's go down the stairs. If we go back, I want to have a continue. I want to have a plan. If, we go if back you're gonna to do him. yes, if you're going to do and make him him flee, I can use a spell to. I can use Bane. Don't you have an unseen servant that can grab the book and come out? It's he's he has it. Oh, it's it's right. he's holding well, it. How about we cross that bridge when we get to it? Fair. Like, so, if we do decide to come back, we can come up with a plan. So the stairs? Stairs. Did okay. we did we go. like check up everything? Like that over there? We've been there. That's where the fireballs and stuff happened, I think, right? Uh, the the over on the other left side? Yes. Fireballs have been that thing. They yeah. Been here. Like here. Yeah, we've and been in the that room. Was here. Okay. There's so, a yeah. hole on the ground there big enough for them to go into. So, yes. Yeah, there's there's definitely there's definitely a basement of some sort. There's gotta be. Uh, I just we it was a secret door to the Alex. There's got to be like there's got to be something else in that. Yeah, it I mean just, it can't just be a book. In wh- where with the with the with lich, Alex. Yeah. Andy. Andy, sorry, Andy. What do you, do you trust me? Not as far as I can throw you. You can throw me pretty far. He's right. not that big. <laughs> what do you? What are you thinking, Casimir? There's got to be like, there's got to be a way down, and I think if I was a lich, and I was all powerful, and I had things in the bottom of this, you know, catacomb, I wouldn't put a stairway just out of nowhere, right? I'd put it somewhere where only I could access it. No, but wasn't that staircase hidden? Didn't absolutely have to like find it. He did Jimmy? It. We didn't know it was there. I didn't spot it. Also, if I was a lich, I'd have a lot more books than just one. Did you... Do you think there's... I think there's something else in there. <clears throat> Here's this. How about this? Me and Absidy will just take a peruse. If I die, I die. It's no skin off your nose. You did say you don't trust him as far as you can throw him. And then you don't have to worry about me bothering you. Yeah, but... <laughs> Irene is with your people we come back without you, who's to say that we don't have high elves, or gray elves, or dusk elves. Dusk elves. Okay, don't be offensive. <laughs> sh- shouldn't start trying to think of what he's called in character. Uh, <clears throat> elf elf. Christmas elf. <laughs> and you see him, and he takes out, like, this stone, and he goes, If this is returned, this is meant that I, Casimir, have been destroyed by a lich and have no ill will towards Rufio and his party. Than that, <laughs> take it and put it. Can can you say who the party includes? Hand it back. If you are finding this, I have been destroyed by a lich, and this is no ill will towards Rufio, Absidy, Sharp, or Thok, or Dirt. I have gone of my own free will and volition. Please don't kill them or the girl. That was, I that was very back for this. That was very classy. Thank you. I like your message. Your 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 message rock is nice. Thank so, you. we're going back in. So you and I will go back in very briefly. Let's I mean, it. if you guys want backup, I'll stand by the door. Um, Just don't look at the statue. Yeah, well, it's covered. Okay, there's not much I can do, but I'll be a uh, the last resort, and I'll attempt to cross the bridge at the last resort. <laughs> yeah. So, you ready? Oh. Yes, born ready. Let's go. Pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. Pitter patter, pitter patter. Pitter patter. Um, so slowly you get back in the room with Andy, and he looks back up. Oh, hello. Do I know you? Yes. 
Do you do you remember your name? No. Is he holding the book? The book's by his hand. Okay. He's, his hand isn't on it, but he's it was in his, his lap and it looks like he put it back. Andy. Okay, he doesn't remember. Hey, guy. Um Yes. Do you do you remember me? I'm sorry. I don't. Uh should I? Yes, you said I could borrow that book of yours after you'd finished reading it and you, you're done reading it now. I have a book? Oh. I'm sorry, I'd like to peruse this first. Oh, you, you've already finished it. I don't quite remember. I'm gonna peruse it, though. Thank you. Oh. He's slowly going through it. He's like, let's just leave it as is. Uh, would you be comfortable with us touching the sides of the room? Uh... What did we say his name was? Andy. Andy? Your, uh, your name is Andy. Oh. Do I look like an Andy? <laughs> yeah, you look like an Andy. I just jumped in to, from the, oh. outside the doorway. Do I know you? <laughs> yeah, we met a couple minutes ago, and you said that uh, you said that we were all some uh, ragtag group of guys. You liked us. I'm sorry, I don't recall. Ah, it's okay. It's been a, it's been a long 20 minutes. <laughs> Maybe we should step out and reset. He seems to forget every time we leave. I'm, I mean, I guess so. I don't know. I don't. I used... I'm just gonna walk behind him and see if that works. Okay. So, uh, Casimir is just kind of putting his hands on everything, and I'm gonna see if he can find anything. Whee! You're with me. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, investigation. He kind of puts his hands onto one of the walls to the east of the doorway, and you hear a click. To the, you said the west? To the east. The east, okay. So, because you're not in the, like, if the room is, like, here, so you're about there. And then he okay. found a click about here. Uh, Andy, is it okay if I, if I open this door? Oh, there's a door? Certainly. And you see him, and you hear a And inside, there is a stone library. This library has 20-foot high walls and 30-foot high vaulted ceiling. Covering the ceiling is a fresco that depicts angels being set ablaze in a hell. A black marble railing encloses a gold marble staircase that spirals gently down a 30-foot wide, 30-foot deep shaft to the north. Against the gray wall stands six 10-foot tall black marble bookcases. On their shelves are hundreds of well-preserved tomes. Embroidered rugs, chairs, lit candelabras fill the southern half of the room. Bingo fucking bongo. I knew there was another fucking book here. <laughs> Look at this thing. This is a nerd fantasy. I have a hard on right now. Tell that to Bird Boy. Which one's Bird Boy? The fucking up grumpy all the time. Oh, yeah, Angry Boy. Yeah. Bird boy, Raven Genius Queen. boy. <laughs> uh, Smart boy. <laughs> it took, yeah, it took me a second. Yeah, me too. Um, yeah, so I searched the room. Okay. Uh, so as you look around, there is the spiral staircase that goes down to the to the catacomb. Um, there, there are no ladders to reach any kind of high bookshelves. Uh, and all the books appear to have, like, blank covers and empty pages. So when you open them, you kind of just thumb through and it's just blank. Like, they're all, like, diaries. Um. Yeah. Hmm. These books are all blank. Probably protected them. But despite this being my fantasy and me wanting to basically live here, easier way down. And oh, I'm guessing it. there's no flame skulls here. I don't hear anything. Do you hear anything? I don't hear at anything. Volume. I hear nothing. Shard, are you with us? Uh, no, I'm still uh, by the doorway. I'm just going to start talking to Andy about stuff. Okay, what are you talking about? Hey, Andy, what's your favorite kind of wolf? Oh. <laughs> no one's ever asked me that. Before. Well, because you got your regular wolves, you got your dire wolves, you got your white wolves, you got your gray wolves, your black wolves, you got your werewolves, which those ones are kind of shitty. Sure. Um, but dire wolves, they're my favorite. That's what I grew up with. Dire wolves are really, really cool. That's very interesting. Yeah. So what's your favorite kind of wolf? Oh. No one's ever asked me that before. <laughs> what kind of wolves are they? 
<laughs> this goes on for a long time. Because <laughs> Shark Shark, he's like, well, they're direwolves. <laughs> so when you guys get back, they're like on your fifth time, like, I've told you already. They're direwolves, white wolves. And so after a while of, of this exchange with Andy, and Andy has like, he's not like impatient, despite you being super impatient with him. He's just genuinely interested in any question that you give him. He just, he tries his best to answer you. And Casimir just kind of dips his head out and he's like, um, Shard, if you want to tell the rest of our friends that I have found a staircase to the bottom of the, uh, temple here. And Andy goes, oh, there's a downstairs? And Casimir goes, yeah! Did you know there was a downstairs? Oh, no. I don't quite remember that. So you can't help us downstairs? I don't remember what it's like. I'm sorry. And Casimir's just like, just let them know. And then slowly slink his head back away from the door jam as him and Absy are waiting in the library. Okay, so I'll start walking back out towards the thing. Goodbye, Shark. Goodbye, Andy. Remember, dire wolves are the cool ones. What kind of wolves? Dire wolves? Dire wolves. Dire wolves. So, walk out. Okay. Dark, Rufio. Huh. What? We found a staircase downstairs. So cool. <laughs> Good to know. So there's there's nothing nothing blocking it. So it was like a secret passage through his library. So now, how do I get across? Great question. No idea. How good are you at doing jumps? We're about to find out, right? I'll catch you, kinda. How about you cross first? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go. Yeah, I'll go across before, first. So. I'll say that because you've already done it. Like it takes you a little bit, but you're able to kind of like shimmy your way over. <laughs> this is gonna be. That's fun. a big bullet. game time. <laughs> I mean, I made it across. You're not wearing full plate mail. So, so like, true fact. We're... How much do you weigh? Uh, Ten I'm, pounds. If I'm not mistaken, I think I'm at three. Featherfall. Three hundred. How long does it take for you to take your armor off and I drag, drag it across? Ten minutes. No, wait, no. Taking off armor is not as long as, as putting, putting on armor. armor. Then you can take a short vest too and put it back on. Yeah, so I'll I'll take it off. Take it off and then slowly like tie a rope and drag it over. Wait, Fuck throw that. It. Just throw it. Fuck that. Just throw it across. across. That's because it's not your armor. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So yeah, so I'll go ahead and I'll take my armor off. And, uh, I'm gonna cast Unseen Servant and have him walk it back and forth. Oh, good, uh, good idea. Thanks. Okay. Um, when I take my armor off, you'll notice that in, on my back, because I'm like, I'm assuming I'm not wearing anything under my armor, right? Or is it just? Would like, you wear Under Armour? <laughs> hey, oh, bro. It's so comfortable. Um, breathable. Mesh. I'm wearing Under Armour sweatpants right now. I don't think so. You don't think so? You wouldn't have anything that would prevent chafing or anything? Oh, yeah. Like, I, like, like I, I guess I would. Like, simple, like, women like, underwear? Like, like, like or just, like, a onesie? Yeah. Just, like, a sweater? But I'll say, like, it's all tattered it's up cold. and everything. I don't know. Like, you'll see hints of tattoos on my back, but you can't tell what they are. Um, just throwing that out there. It's sick. Uh, yeah, they're tribal. You're not tribal. You don't, but yeah, so... Know. I get it. Kind of. Not really. Okay, well... How are, much are, do you weigh now, do you think? If you take it off, if you take it off on D and D Beyond, I'll tell you. Or will it? Mm -hmm. Equipment. Or at least it should, or it'll, uh, it'll tell you how much like your strength carrying capacity is. So I assume just say like take that to zero, or if you just look at it, just take that. Yeah. So just hit plate. Where is so it? how much is? Yeah, I would assume plate would be. Oh, I mean, I, I would assume. It's, oh, it says sixty-five pounds is the armor. So, so two. So now you're at two. Two thirty-five. Two thirty-five. So, That's like shart ish. So as you go across, <laughs> you, like you hear it kind of like moan and creak. It's like me, and you're like, ah. I slowly, but slowly but surely, you are able to get through the balcony at your two thirty five, as opposed to the two fifty weight capacity. Oh shit! <laughs> Good to know. <clears throat> yeah, that's why I barely made it. <laughs> now you're at two forty nine. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what the side of the room looks like. <laughs> Yay! Yay! What's this statue? <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. What's under it? Why is there a blanket? <laughs> and then, uh, if you guys want to take the time for Thok to put his armor back on, which takes about what? 30? I think it's. I think it's like twenty. Twenty minutes. I'm gonna take a short rest anyway. Yeah. 
if you guys from... are you taking a short rest with the statue or are you gonna pass Andy uh I'm gonna take a short rest with the statue okay yeah he's probably gonna want to be armored up when he passes Andy sure. where are you gonna be I'm just gonna hang out I'll uh I'll go talk to Andy again when you go back in he goes oh hello what kind of wolf is your favorite wolf <laughs> my guy do I know you yeah I have a preference for die your wolves that's right you do I taught you the dire wolves are the guys. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, there's a book in my lap. Have you read this? No, I've been meaning to. Oh, well, I'm going to finish it first, and then I'll let you know if it's good. Okay, sounds good. Ask him any more questions. I'm going to shout out to Casimir and uh, Casimir and Absidy. Yeah. Actually, can I walk? Would I be able to walk past him to... He just kind of looks at you as you walk past. <clears throat> I'm just going to go into them and be like, Guys, I think we need to try and get moving quick. I think he's starting to remember stuff. Why? Uh, well, me and uh, you guys heard us have that conversation about wolves, right? No, because no. uh, I'm going to be honest. Whenever you talk, I kind of hear the ocean sometimes. Okay, fair enough. Well, I was talking about wolves. Okay. He, I walked in. He still doesn't remember me. But he asked me what my favorite wolf was, which is what I've been asking him. So he's retaining information, and then this time he acknowledged the book. Hmm. Thok and Rufio just got across the thing. Oh. Thok's putting his armor back on, and... Can you prevent Thok from maybe punching the lich in the face, like the minute he sees it? Like, maybe we put a blanket over his head? I mean, I could do my best, but the only blanket we got's on that statue, so that's a bad idea. Oh, boy. How... How do liches get souls? Uh, they kill people? Can they get partial souls? Not that I'm aware of. I'm just curious why he's remembering. He might be in the mid of his transformation. I don't think he's completely a demi-lich yet. Demi-lich? Demi-lich is like a lesser lich. Wait, so he's going down in lich status or up? He's degrading. Oh, okay. Because he hasn't been able to feed. Right, okay. Well, I'm with you, Shard. <clears throat> Let's go fast. Yeah, so. I'm at full health. I rolled hit dice and used my own hands. Okay. With Thok. Okay. Yeah. I, I, Anything you guys are discussing while Thok is awkwardly putting on his armor? I'm just gonna. Each other. I'm just gonna be like, what the fuck, man? I, this is a terrible idea. Temples, am I right? <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't really have much of a choice. I think we could have been through the temple fine, but I'm not. I'm concerned, especially with Absidy. Why Absidy? I'm gonna start walking back. He's to get them. power hungry. Well, you are aware that there's hints of evil in them, right? No, not Absidy. You don't know Absidy like I do. Well, when I first met you, I didn't know any of you from Squat, and I detected good and evil. And I detected hints of evil in him. We were around the temple. It probably, like, messed with your... Okay, because I don't know my abilities. All right. I'm going to roll insight on Thok. Go for it. Sick. I'm back out by you guys now. Just letting you know. That's a 10. <laughs> That's a 10. <laughs> Tell them the truth. Like... Are, do you have the ability to detect? I have divine sense. I can detect anything How fiend, much celestial... I've I've never gotten anything off, I've never gotten anything off of Absidy, have I? You haven't, but I mean I might start giving it to you. Okay. Um, you haven't asked. I'm just throwing it out there. He seems like a great asked. guy. No, he has. Oh yes. Okay. You detect good and evil until the end of the next turn. Anything affected by the house spell? No, any celestial fiend or undead that's not behind total cover. But you do remember that when Absidy, like the day after the windmill, he had a, as Josh described it, a dark piece came about him. I recall that. So I yeah. think if we want to say with your denial of Absidy, basically, you know, you trust Absidy, maybe you... you have turning a blind eye. To it. Yeah. So if you want to do like a little pumpy pump. Not that I care. Like, I'm just saying. Like, no, I just... <laughs> I just figured you guys all knew you, already. No. I mean, that was... The, the first time I saw him use magic was with the Oh, I thought, again, I don't know you guys from Squat yet, so... So I wait, figured. the magic's more than just the wand? Yes. I am right. 
Yes. I sure. knew it. What How did you know? I'm not with him anymore. Are you in the? <laughs> He's with us. He's just calling out the hallway. <laughs> what did you know? <laughs> Do I know you? <laughs> he had What's said. What's your favorite kind of wolf? <laughs> he had said he was with us. Like he came yeah. back. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Um. No, I just figured that that was a thing that he always did, so I didn't really think much of it. And I just thought you guys already knew it's not my business, so. I'm sorry if I stirred the pot, but. Oh man, magic's yeah. cool. We. No, it's not stirring the pot. We need to know. That stuff. Thank you, Doc. Oh, it's fine. No problem. So. What now? Um, we obviously have to get past the witch. I think you gotta resist your urges there, man. I will do my best if I have to. But if we come back this way, I can't promise that I can do it twice. Okay, fair enough. Um, I'm going to cast Hold Person on Thok. Okay. And have Shark carry him across. This is just... <laughs> preventative and I cast hold person can I voluntarily sure fail yeah. it yeah because I'm assuming you're explaining yeah I would it. explain it yeah I'll, I would say you can voluntarily I'll voluntarily mm -hmm. fail it Sh sure we have a minute pick him up and let's go okay <coughs> do I have to do a strength save on it yeah because he's heavy as fuck <laughs> oh, he's fun. heavy as fuck he's a thick boy <laughs> by the way thick it's boy. five minutes to take off ten minutes to put oh okay so Ooh. Like <laughs> isn't it at advantage don't you make strength strength saves at advantage I think that's when you're raging that's when oh, I'm raging shit. yeah um I mean it's still in eleven <laughs> I would say like you guys kind of make it like halfway to the room and Andy kind of looks up and actually goes, sorry no, oh uh, yeah, 11, just kidding. So he kind of looks up, and he looks at the three of you, and he goes, oh, hello, do I know you? Uh, Doc's nope. Like, and then I <laughs> halfway through, the whole person spell just kind of drops. Run, 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 run. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you doing anything, Doc? Bye, Andy. Okay. Oh, I, I bite my lip. I'll probably have, like, a blood little coming blood out. in my mouth, but... Oh, uh, as I turn around and yeah. like I'm, I'm about to go down the staircase, I detect magic. Detect magic? Yes. Okay. Uh, in the room in, behind me. In the room behind you? Yeah. There's, I mean, there's a very magical force coming from that room. The, the, do I? I can see like things. It's the book, so right? It's the book. It's the the zombie. Mm -hmm. And then while you're in the library as well, you see all of the the books light up. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Mm, sick. It's because of the Actually, wand. It, pull a uh... presence of magic within 30 feet of you. If you sense magic in this way, you can use your action to see a faint aura around a visible creature or object in the area that bears magic, and you learn its school of magic, if any. So I'd actually learn. So it'd be necromancy is is the school of magic, mm -hmm. and then I would say if you look look at Absidy, you can see the very faint seal on the chest. Would I recognize the seal because I'm wearing the helmet? It's not a like a. Oh, it's language. not like. It's not a language. Okay, religion. You can see if you know who it is. Oh, so you just wear the helmet all the time now? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I always wear the helmet now. Oh shit. Yeah, it's, it's a, a bad blank, helmet. It's a Ooh, helmet. That's a uh, sixteen. Uh, it looks not friendly. It's looking at it. If you wrote it down, and you're pretty sure it's a. Uh, it's been like a very either a fiend or, or something that's not entirely good. Maybe he's been marked by something. Okay. So is is that is this just a symbol that he sees, or is it something it's, I it's actually? It's the Lucifer. It's symbol. the Lucifer. But, but symbol no, I know. But is it a symbol that's physically on me, or he sees it because no. he's it's cast the one magic. that got burnt into you? That the witch is it one of those that you put on a black light and it just like glows in the black light? <laughs> kind of. Right, but so you, no one else can see it day Correct. to day. That's what I'm. Okay. Yeah. No, unless you don't have a shirt on, unless you're walking around like fucking. Con no, he doesn't. No, no, no like, there's no symbol there. It's just, uh, so it's like it's a it's an after image. Got it. Burned into his like it's basically it's burned into his soul. Yeah, it's a jizz stain. <laughs> Alright. So let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That was hard. Let's go. You're heavy as hell, you, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Doc, I know. Doc, you did really I've, good. I've been told. No, you did great. Next time I'm throwing you over my shoulder rather than trying to carry you like a dang 
dink fish. That, that would have been smarter. Yeah, yeah. I don't think all the time. <laughs> okay. Hopefully there won't be a next time. I'm gonna <laughs> hang back with with Thok, like in order of us walking. I'm gonna hang back with Thok. So you guys are going to the bottom of the catacombs. Sounds hot. Toxic love. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna start like drawing the symbol on like my notebook. Yeah, no doubt. Um. <laughs> Shit's about to go down. Hey, we made it through without. We made it through. I was wondering how we'd get across that. Yeah. <laughs> Unseen servant, bro. Yeah. He's just hanging out with us. No. It's like with me. Oh, well, yeah. It's like, how are you going to get me across that without being a. Uh... Yeah. I mean, we, he carried your armor. It's fine. Yeah, exactly. Little by little, though. Because. Yeah. It was literally like piece, piece by, by piece. piece. Come on, little buddy. <laughs> yeah, I looked it up, and uh, full plate is 65 pounds. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, it takes 10 minutes to don your armor, 5 minutes to doff. Word. Yeah. Light armor is 1 minute and 1 minute. Fun fact. Oh, really? Yeah. That's you. It's 1 minute to put it on, 1 minute to take it off. And then medium okay. armor is 5 minutes to put it on, 1 minute shit. to take it off. I think I have splint. Also, splint's splint's and then plate uh, is heavy, 5 and 10. Uh, heavy armor is 10 minutes to put it on, 5 minutes to take it off. What are you doing? I'm changing maps. Oh, I didn't know why he was moving the chair. And then a shield is an action and an action. <laughs> Chica! Chica! Also, just tossing this out there, uh, I started watching this guy on YouTube called RuneSmith, so I know you're watching RuneSmith. Shout out to you for making cool content. Um, he did a, a video about feats that I thought was hilarious, um, and he talked about the light armor feat, um, uh, and he literally explained it as the most useless feat in the game. So I just since you were talking about light armor, it made me laugh. Do we want all of us on, the, on this map, TM? Okay. Um, I don't know yeah, if there was put battle things. So you kind of can just have an idea. Get an idea. So, so this ready. is this is just empty. Like this is wall, right? All of this is. I wall. think this is empty. Yeah. yeah. Like solid, like stone or whatever. Okay, it that's what be. I thought. Okay. Okay. Go for it. I know. I do want to get that, uh, sc- like get a TV screen to do those live maps at some point. Uh. They're addicting. Yeah. Oh, you, you use it too? Oh, we use it in my. Yeah, other I've seen him post pictures of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We use it in my other campaign. Once we're off air, I can. Show me. I can show you and explain, like, what works and what we found out. Yeah. What has worked and what hasn't worked. Like, we did, we did one Roll 20 uh, session with him, and it wasn't. Would that be live maps? Because it was through Roll20. Yeah, but like, uh, for example, like YouTube has, you can look up RPG battle maps and it moves, like the river moves, there's sound effects of birds as they're flying through the map and it has a grid and everything oh, that's that sick. you can just use like a screen. You just hit and, full screen and then put it up there? And you can put it up there or you can do like dual screen it. So like if you have a TV and your computer, you can use it as a second screen and pull it up as you're still using your computer for your whatever else you're using for it like for. like recording stuff. Hell yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. It's dope. It's this is also a good lull <laughs> in the episode. What? So this is a good Oh, lull. I know. That's why it's I'm just bits. filling it with with general well, content. Fun facts. Yeah. We're learning knowledge, guys. Knowledge is power. Knowledge. Yeah. Stay in character, though. So, yeah. They, that's the wrong character, though. And I'm pretending to be you. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my absidy impression. Me, 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 me. Look at me. I'm Al Seal stuff. That was our... Yeah. Uh, what do they call it? The in those other shows when you're like fun facts, like helpful hints. For what? Anybody that wants to, like what, the whole battle map. Oh yeah. We talk about for anybody maps. that wants to do that. Oh, fun fact. I like that we have a battle map now. Oh, yeah. Shit. What's the big giant thing in front of Thok? It's just a uh, it's a statue that you you saw when you were on the first thing. It looks like it's just more of uh, the statue. Okay. Oh, <clears throat> I remember those. Is it- Oh, okay. So it's a different statue. It's not the it's same, the same one. It's the same oh, statue. Jesus. It goes all the way down. Yeah. yeah. Shit. It's multi-story. Yeah. Jesus. Oh. That's a big okay. ass statue. So, you are now in the deep of the central catacomb. Uh, so you smell the horrid perfume of ancient dead stone niches along the walls of these catacombs hold human shaped <clears throat> amber husks and bones and tattered shrouds. 
Sounds hot. It's, it's lit, y'all. No. That's the missing area, so ignore what I just said. Oh. Uh, so you're in a lower level of it, so we got, we got a couple of places to be. So where are we going? So we have rooms here, here, bam, boom, boozle, bop, boop. What are these little... Uh, these are just more little stone statues. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna need to rest soon. Why do you want rest? Yeah. I, well, I don't know if we have that option in here. I mean, if this was a secret area, how much? I don't think it is. Aren't, DM, aren't we just like dead center? Yeah, this is right where we were looking down before. No. What? It's, it's deeper. So oh, it's it's, it's below a that. secret area. Yeah, it's a secret area. So when yeah, because it was from the library. The top head of like the top half of the statue. Uh-huh. But now that you're even lower, now it's like basically the bottom half. Of oh, the okay. Did it look like? So this was a secret passage that you found in the liches in the library room. Yeah. yeah. And it doesn't look like anybody has been this way in a while. Not Why don't we? Can we close? that main area I just figure somebody will have to take watch we'll just have to take I mean we can all take watch we can yeah and just turns. long rest it out uh, about what time would it be DM Six, uh, we've been I feel like we've been in here for a minute we got here at like I think two is what we two, said and then you've already I would say it took about an hour for you guys to explore the temple the first time and then another 30 minutes so maybe it's about four or five we've, okay we've taken a few short rests yeah that's true too so we've taken let's two. just say it's a safe level seven or eight we'll say it's seven Okay. Oh, because yeah, because if if no one has opened this in a while, and we close that in case someone I don't know who would be behind us, the only person that knows that that exists right now is the Lich. <clears throat> he doesn't even remember his own name, literally. I think it would be wise to maybe take a a long rest in the in the library and try and come down at this full strength tomorrow. Yeah, I think you're right. We've all been hurt. Yeah, I mean, is there any way we can um, we can let Dirt know that we're taking a rest? I can use sending. I can send a message to him. Okay, no, that's the only thing is I know we told him that we'd try and give him uh, updates of what's going on. So if he's going to go over a full day without hearing from us, I feel like that's something that's going to freak your little guy the hell out, man. So, yeah. I don't uh, know how you feel you about wanna, that, Rufio. I'll go ahead and do that. Yeah. Are we going to go ahead and do Let's that? Let's go back upstairs. Right. Yeah. So once we get to the library, I'm going to cast Sending okay. to Dirt um, and say, Hey, Furrier, don't freak out. This is Thok. Um, we have noticed this place is larger than we expected. Mm-hmm. We are going to have to take a long rest. We will keep you updated in the day tomorrow. Uh, and then you get a send. Uh, he does. Oh, you can reply to this message for him. He knows that. <laughs> he knows that, yeah. So he Because re- he has it too, right? In his message? He has sending? He has sending. Um, he replies with, Is everyone safe? I'll reply again, yes. Uh, he just asked if you guys were safe, so I just told him yes. Th- uh, thank you. You're welcome. Anything that we want to do um, before we take a long rest? Uh, I'm praying to I've been trying to reach the Raven Queen but I'm gonna pray to uh, whore now too and just be like bro what's what what's happening what's going on um, we'll get to that okay you, anything else guys uh, I'm just gonna try and talk to talk to Ben okay my same as always when I go to sleep mm-hmm. trying to let him know that I'm gonna come find him yep uh, I'm just looking around the library, trying to see if there's any books that aren't protected, or if there's any way for me to unprotect them. That's a word. <laughs> I can't read, so. And then what do you These do? are perfect books uh, for you, then. I'm just gonna, like, once we're starting to, like, settle in, I'm just gonna pray to, to Anubis. Okay. Just to general. Okay. Now I lay thee down to sleep. Sub, so, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> and I pray. <laughs> yeah. Um... <laughs> My nightly ritual to him. Okay. So, uh, I need uh, Thok, Rufio, and Absi to roll all uh, wisdom saves. Oh, God. Ah. Please let all their gods come together. Please let all their gods come What's together. 
Uh, 16. 16? 18. 18. 22. 22. Okay. Um, because you're all praying to it, and they're not, okay. Uh, I guess we can move in a circle, because you all succeeded it, apparently. Um, who wants to go first? (laughs) Go around the order they said their numbers. Okay. So, it starts with, so, Absidy, as you're looking through these books during your watch, you start smelling the brimstone, the fire filling your nostrils, and, uh, in it, you hear in your head, Mm. Watching. That lich could be very powerful. Ally. Okay. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> if we bring his memories back. How do all of this knowledge? How do I do that? Restoration. A soul? A spell. A restoration spell. Yes. Do I know that? I can give you a cheat. <sighs> Go on. <laughs> Very powerful. Is that something we would want to do? Or would your leader get angry about that? Oh, he's no leader. I don't know. It looks like everyone asks questions of him. We are a democratic republic. I know a dictatorship when I when I see one. What's this cheat? If you put your hands out, and through my will and my power, we restore his memory. Sorry, this is me smiling. Oh, okay, I was gonna say. It's not Lucifer. <laughs> Lucifer doesn't have emotions. <laughs> What's the catch? The catch is this is taking too long. The catch is everyone might be a little cross with you. Hmm. But you're a master of your own destiny, right? That's right. I'll ponder. Decision before they wait. <clears throat> Don't like that timeline. And then that smell kind of dissipates. Uh, okay, we'll move to to Rufio. And uh, <clears throat> so, as you're praying to Hor, you start hearing the tolls, the <clears throat> the gonging, <clears throat> and when you open your eyes, you start hearing those ravens call. And in the center of uh, this big black dark room, the spotlight coming down, you see on throne, you see the Raven Queen, and she's a little winded. <sighs> yes, Rufio. Where where have you been? Busy, darling. <sighs> uh, there, there's so much I need to tell you. Are you okay? Just winded. Where, what, what happened? no bother right now. How can I help you? Is it, does it have to do with demons? Something to that nature, yes. They're gonna try and kill you. They're doing a, they're working at it. No, really. We went, we, we, we went through this stone tower and, and the obelisk of Tempest. Yeah. We did that, and then I went to... It was like the future, because this is a weird pocket dimension, and you weren't here. So went a little bit more forward than I thought. So I'm guessing Kaidel didn't do what he was supposed to. What does that mean? He's a cleric of the Raven Queen. Kyle? K- Kaidel. K- K-H-I... D E L L. T E L. L. Yep. Kaidel. Okay. What, what's Kaidel supposed to do? Prevent this. I sent for him to gather different avatars, different worshippers, to help me. I'm sorry, love. 
getting fa- hazy. Is there... Do, can I help? Is there anything I can do? Focus on your task. Uh, one more thing, and I'll pull out my notebook and I'll show her the sigil. Do you recognize this? Where did you find that? On Absidy. He's coming back too. Well, this really is the end of the plates. And you see her kind of like shift. And at this point, she kind of, um, you've seen her before. And when you've seen her, she's looked kind of like spry and young, like the, you know, porous. Mm -hmm. And she's like, she's had no pores. She's been perfect. And you see like the wear and tear. This has definitely been further down the line than when you originally had met her. And to the left of her, she has what I can describe as like a court of owls mask, Mm -hmm. just pure ivory. We're gearing up for war, my dear boy. That sigil is of evil. I fear. Where? Who? Who has that? Ab Ab City does. Put on the mask. Puts her hood back up, and she looks less like you're kind of. It's more eerie and a little bit more uncomfortable because the way she's presented herself has been warm, and she's trying her best not to creep you out, but there are other priorities. It's on Absidy. Yeah. Has he been different in any way? Uh, any new abilities, perhaps? Yeah, he uses Eldritch Blast, and he has an Unseen Servant, and... So he's made a pact with someone. Yeah, he said it was with an angel. It was an angel? It was the first angel. What do we do about this? This may be a, a later discussion. There's nothing to do about it now. I need you to I need you to finish what you're doing and Barovia, I need you back. We all, we all need all of you back. We need all the help we can get if Kaido's not gonna win or fail. Okay. I'll be ready, I can I can fight. Just be here. Just finish this. And then we have a lot of work ahead of us. All of us. I won't let you down. And you hear the tolls gonging again. And you see her, she kind of grunts as she gets back up. And you see her arms kind of lay out. And they just they keep going on and on. And these giant waving wings as she takes off. And you snap back to. Fuck. As you're concentrating, you hear the drums. And soon you're in this giant... Have you met Anubis before? In the other world, yeah. There's a lot of sand. So this is this this world's Anubis. Okay. So within the... This... uh, Deep into what you would project to be the pyramids. No light. Just different hieroglyphs on the, the stairs. Or on the walls. You're in this big empty room except for this this throne. And you see it, and you're expecting dog face ripped. And it is a very simple looking man, curly hair, dark complexion pulled back, and he looks to be wearing very fancy garb. But his eyes are yellow and murky. And he looks over and he goes, oh, hello. Who are you? Have, have we met? You wear my mark. I've never seen this form of you. Fascinating. And you just kind of like, you kind of size each other up and down, and he. <laughs> you are traveling with a follower of the Raven Queen. I am. That's I've. Good. We've just met today. Today. Do they trust you? As far as I trust them? I'm guessing not very far. We've just met. They still haven't proved that I can trust them, but they haven't proved me that I can't. Yes. That's good. That's very good. The Raven Queen is hurt, as you know. Or you may not know. I do not know. Yes. A great demon is trying to take her throne. And that gives us opportunity. What, what can I do? How can I... 
This is a throw that we do not want lost. No, it was already lost. It was taken by her. When I was deaf. This is very good. Keep your eye on them, Doc. If you can get more information, if you see his powers waning, I'll be watching. On the Paladin? Yes. Okay. If the Raven Queen falls, we become more powerful. We get our throne back, my throne back. This is very good. Very good. Do you see him? And he's just, he's, his, uh, his expression is lit up. Like he's elated to see you. And then we gather my siblings. Yes. Anything you wanna try to get out of him? No. Since he's here for, okay. Yeah, so this, 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 this is the first this time, mm -hmm. for the first time seeing him this way. Yes. Go, my son. Okay. Be vigil. I will. Dead is better. You all kind of dissipate. Vin, unfortunately, can't communicate with one ear. Yeah, I know. I'm still <laughs> trying. That's I all. You are. And you feel that warm glow. When you when you concentrate and your axe kind of has this faint wisps of uh, green energy that kind of just goes off of it, and when you feel it, it feels warm, but it feels like when you're out in the in the plains, mm -hmm. whenever you see Paul, so you know Paul is with you in this axe. Mm -hmm. Um, actually, I think that's a good point to kind of stop it, and we'll we'll move on to the rest of the temple. I think next next episode. Woo! Okay. So many gods. It's about to get real. <laughs> Lot less guys in the second. Oh, <laughs> lot less interactions. So, well, like, comment, subscribe. See what happens next. My neck is starting to feel better, so let's see what happens next time. <gasps> That's so good. I know. Thanks, Icy Hot. Thanks, Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> Shaq Fu. Shaq Fu. The game is actually not bad. Kazam. <laughs> it was eight dollars. It's real. Kazam. It's real. <laughs> All right, bye everyone. It's not that Shazam bullshit people keep talking. Bye, -bye about. Bye everyone. Bye. Bye. There we go. See ya. Bye.